Hello and welcome to the Switzer Property Insights brought to you by NAB. Today I want to talk to you about borrowing money to buy a property in a self-managed super fund or SMSF. An advantage that SMSFs have over non-SMSFs is that subject to very strict rules, they can borrow. The kind of loan you need to use is called a Limited Recourse Borrowing Arrangement or LRBA. When you use an LRBA, the only recourse the bank has against your SMSF, if your SMSF is unable to pay back the loan, is to the asset that you have the loan over in the first place. The bank may still have recourse to any guarantors as well as security provided by them. If the asset is no longer worth the amount of the loan, the bank can't come after other assets of your SMSF. That's really important. Some of the steps to getting an LRBA are the same as they are for an investment property loan. First, you need to find a property. There are very strict rules around who can buy property from. But before you can make an offer, consider speaking with an expert in superannuation lending to make sure it is appropriate for your SMSF. And then speak to your bank and perhaps seek a pre-approval or approval in principle. But that's where the similarities end. Under an LRBA structure, you will also need a separate security custodian or security trustee, which will hold the legal title to the property. This may involve setting up a new company and trust. You may also be asked to provide personal guarantees to the bank. And you need to make sure that the contract for the sale of the property is in the name of the security trustee that you set up. Unless you have expertise in superannuation laws, you should consider seeking professional advice and engaging a solicitor as the whole process is quite complex. And the consequences of getting it wrong are very serious. Your SMSF may lose its status as a complying fund and face a significantly higher tax rate. Some banks now offer packaged loan solutions that have made this whole process a lot easier, but it will still take some time. The regulations around LRBA are also quite strict. For example, you need a separate LRBA for each asset and you can use your borrowed funds for repairs and maintenance, but not to improve the asset. You can only use the SMSF's own funds for that. Here are some major don'ts for when you borrow to invest in property via your SMSF. First, you can't live in the property. Related parties, that is, you or your relatives, cannot rent the property if it's residential. It must be rented to an external party on an arm's length basis. And you can't use borrowed funds to improve the asset. So briefly, that's how you set up an LRBA but it is definitely worth thinking about getting some professional advice to make sure everything goes according to the plan. Thanks for joining me today.